Look, the ATM business is not a get rich quick scheme, but if you do play your cards right, you can actually make tens of thousands of dollars each month. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to give you the formula coming right up. Hey, what is up, you guys? My name is Chad Osuji, ATM business owner and mentor. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Now, I know that Excel spreadsheets and all this stuff is not that interesting and it's not going to get a lot of views. But listen to me, man. Listen to me. If you're serious about the ATM business, you need to know the numbers. So I know this looks a little intimidating, but just give me some time to explain this. So if you've seen in any of my other videos, you know that you need about $5,000 to actually start an ATM business. And that's actually the price for the machine itself and also the cash to load the machine with. Um, so each time you actually purchase a new machine, you actually increase your cash flow by about 300 to $500. But obviously each location isn't going to make you $500. So in this example, I'm going to just use $300, um, you know, as cash flow for each month. So as you can see on the top left right here, we have three things. So we have initial investment of $5,000 and that's going to be again for the money for our machine and the machine purchase itself and also a couple other expenses. Now the initial cash flow per month, if you have one machine, that's gonna bring you $300 in profit each month. We have the price of one machine plus the cash. Again, it's $5,000. And this is all for reference here on the top left. So you can actually change any of these values if you really want to, and it, it'll change this whole chart, uh, whole spreadsheet. So, so now if we move down here to the left-hand side, um, over the next 16 months, so from right here to right here, the next 16 months, we will actually only have one machine, right? And this is because we're actually taking all of our profits and we're just saving it up, saving and saving and saving. We're not spending any of it. Then once we have enough money for another machine, another $5,000, we actually go ahead and purchase that machine. So that way we can increase our cash flow by another $300. So as you can see on the next month right here, our cash flow is $600. So theoretically, if everything goes to plan and we make $300 per month, we're able to buy another machine after 17 months, then we can actually start making money faster. And then we can actually, you know, buy another machine at uh, 25 months, then right here, the next one is 30 months and then uh, 34 months and et cetera, et cetera. And we just keep purchasing more machines. So then now if we scroll down by month, by month 51, we will have enough cash flow to actually purchase machines every single month. And that's really where our cash flow actually starts to ramp up. You know, it actually gets exponential. And that's, uh, you can see it by this, this chart right here on the right hand side. Um, once we do reach that that 50 month span right here on the blue line, that's when our cash flow actually shoots up because we're purchasing more machines faster and faster and faster. So so what we're saying here is if we just take five thousand dollars now and we buy one ATM machine and we reinvest our profits, we're gonna make a ton of money, you know, later on down the road. Now it's not gonna be immediate because again, we have to wait a few months. Uh, a few years actually before we can actually start buying a lot of machines but if you guys can actually wait that time out and you guys can you know suffer through that you you know you can you can risk the five thousand dollars to you know gain a whole lot later i mean i think this is definitely worth it but i know 16 months just to purchase your second machine now that's a long time that's like a year and a couple months so what if instead we were actually able to purchase two machines so if you go over here on the top left uh, where it says initial investment and you type in $10,000, um, if you look at the first month, well, the second month in this chart, if you look at the second month, it says that we purchased two machines and we're starting off right off the bat with uh, $600 in monthly cash flow. So then by month 10, we're actually able to purchase our third machine and then, you know, the, the whole process is a lot faster. So the more money that you guys invest up front, the faster that you're going to see a greater return on your investment. Now, I know not everybody has enough money to get two or three or four machines. Maybe you only have enough for one machine. I mean, that's okay, but 
think about it like this. What if you were to take all of that money that you have, the $5,000 that you have, bought your first machine and still worked your nine to five job? So it's okay to have that nine to five job. What you guys want to do is actually take some of that money and push it to the side from your nine to five job. So, you know, when Friday hits, take some of that money, push it to the side, save it up, save it up, save it up. And then eventually, once you have enough money, go ahead and buy your second machine because that's when you'll see your cash flow start to increase a lot faster because you'll, you know, you'll get to that point of being able to buy machines every single month a whole lot faster. And that's when, you know, you can eventually build up enough cash flow to actually, you know, quit that nine to five job. You're not going to need it once you have enough machines um, to actually cover your daily and monthly expenses. And then we can also do other things with this chart as well. So say um, we have, again, an initial investment of $5,000, but say that our cash flow per month is maybe it's a little higher than expected. Maybe you got into some dispensaries, you got into a strip club. So maybe there's a lot of those type of businesses around your area. So it's going to push your, uh, your cash flow up a little higher. So maybe it's $400 per month. So earlier we said that in month 16, you would be able to get your second machine. Now, if we look at it, we're at month 14 where we can get our second machine. So, you know, it's going to vary. This is just a rough estimate of what you guys can expect. Um, but when jumping into the ATM business, but again, these numbers are not hard numbers. So it's going to vary depending on your location, depending on how much cash flow comes in, how many transactions happen for the month. And also these numbers are pretty good if you're looking to eventually sell your business as well. So say you're in month, I don't know, let's pick a number. Say you're in month 63. Um, you have 20, you got 25 machines. Um, your cash flow is $7,500 per month. You can actually take that number, $7,500 per month, and you can actually multiply that by about 30. And that'll give you the, the rough estimate of what your business should be worth when you sell it. But, but again, this depends on a lot of things, though. Um, so there's factors that are going to be that are going to change this up, such as how long your contracts are. Um, how old your machines are all of your machines EMV upgraded all of these things come into play So if you want to use this tool and mess around with it with your own personal numbers You can actually find it in my free ebook down below and uh, this tool was actually created by my brother I, I struggled making this thing. So it was created by my brother. So shout out to him You can actually find his Instagram. It's linked in the description below and again, if you're new here, make sure you watch this video right over here because if you don't watch it, you know, something might go wrong when you're starting up your ATM business and who knows, you could lose money, you could lose an account. A lot of things can go wrong. So make sure you watch that video right over there.